Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to customize navigation flows in Oracle Financial Consolidation and Close Cloud. Application designers can create navigation flows that control how roles and groups interact with the application. Navigation flows are comprised of cards, clusters, and tabs that allow a user to complete application tasks. Cards are icons on the application homepage used to navigate to specific functional areas in the application. Clusters are groups of cards. You can configure cards to display a single page or a tabbed page. You can display tabs vertically, horizontally, or both. You can integrate application objects from other cloud services, such as Planning and Budgeting Cloud or Tax Reporting Cloud, into your navigation flows to create a seamless user experience. I'll create a new custom navigation flow. Because I want to include items from the Tax Reporting Cloud service in my flow, I must first create a connection to the service. Enter the connection information for the service, and then click Validate to verify the connection. Now I'll create a new custom navigation flow. To work with navigation flows, select Navigation Flows from the Tools cluster. You can create a copy of the default navigation flow to use as a starting point. Before you modify a navigation flow, make sure it's in an inactive state. Click the name of the navigation flow to edit it. To specify the users to which the navigation flow applies, you assign the navigation flow to a role or a group. I'll assign this navigation flow to users in the Sample App Power Users group. You can add cards and clusters, hide them, change their order, and delete them. I'll hide the rules card. I'll move the Dashboards cluster to the top so that it's the first item displayed. Now I'll add a new cluster named Forms. An icon is required. Next, I'll add a cash flow card to the Forms cluster. You can add a single page or a tab page and select an orientation. I'll add a page with the vertical tabs. I want tabs for the monthly and quarterly cash flow form. First, I'll add a tab for monthly. In the artifact list, I can select from Forms, Reports, or Dashboards. Now I'll add a tab for the quarterly form. You can reorder the tabs if needed. I'm finished setting up the cash flow card, so I'll save my work. Next, I'll add a card that opens a form from the Tax Reporting Cloud service. I'll name the card Tax Provision. I'll make this a single page card. In the artifact list, I click Tax Reporting Cloud to view artifacts from the service. I'll select the current provision form. I'm finished setting up this navigation flow, so I'll click Save and Close. To enable the navigation flow, you must activate it. When you activate a navigation flow, any other active navigation flows assigned to the same role or group are deactivated. I'll log on as a user in the Power Users group to test the navigation flow. Dashboards is the first item displayed, 
and the forms cluster has been added. The cash flow card displays tabs for the monthly cash flow and quarterly cash flow forms. The tax provision card opens the current provision form from Tax Reporting Cloud Service. In this tutorial, you learned how to customize navigation flows in Oracle Financial Consolidation and Close Cloud. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.